Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you how to carry on Jack's jungle here in season 14. He has a couple of builds to run. The main one at the moment is Titanic Rush or Trinity Rush. I think Titanic Rush as a whole is better because it sets you up to at least have the option to full clear and do so extremely efficiently and even split push extremely efficiently as well. So I would generally recommend Titanic into Trinity instead of Trinity into Titanic. Once you have Trinity, or I should say, once you have Titanic and Trinity, then go for Sundered Sky. Everything after that is relatively situational. For our runes, we have Lethal Tempo, Triumph, Alacrity, Last Stand, Free Boots, Cosmic with Attack Speed, 80, and Armor. We do want to path top side, or start top side path towards bot, because bot is easier to gank with how they have the walls. Mid and top lane are much harder with how they have walls if the lane's being played neutral. It's much, much more challenging. Bot lane's still pretty easy to gank, though, so we're going to path for that, especially since we have an Ash and a Lux. Got a little Aatrox leech. I think he missed every single one of his Q-tippers on it, though. You always start your E when an auto attack is about to hit you, not before it. That way you can end up blocking more of them. We'll get W level 2 for the auto reset. It's good synergy with our passive. Overall, more damage than your Q. You only go Q level 2 if you're going to level 2 gank on Jax, which is risky. Way too much risk, not enough reward. Your teammate isn't even level 2 yet, so they can't really take the gank. I would only do a level 2 gank if I had like an Ash Top or something. Something that's an absolute freebie to gank for. And even then, it's still high risk. They ran Riven into our Diana. Auto attack into E, auto W reset. Then once I block all their autos, I'll pull them over. If you stand still, the little ones do a lot more damage. So you might as well move them around once you block the autos and stun them. Go ahead and come over here. You will lose all your passive stacks as you move from one side of your jungle to the other. Q, auto, W, E. Your W, Q, and R are really attack, auto attack resets on Jax. Auto, W reset. Looks like Nunu went bot side after red buff. Three camped in the gank. Pretty common for a Nunu. I'll go ahead and take my blue. Just to have smite. There's no rush. Once they see Ash, they'll probably back up. But until they see her, they're really not going to move. So I have a little bit of time. But once they see Ash, they're going to run away. So I just kind of got to get there slightly before that or right as she's showing up. We'll go ahead and ghost early. We'll go for Lucian's. Rat's kind of out of mana. That's a huge Lux double stun. That's ridiculous. Q auto W. Lucian still gets the kill. That sucks. That's all right, though. Bot flash 820. Lux set that up massively. I got... Not very much out of that. Just an assist. Bot lane, no flash. I should be able to come back and repeat gank that as long as they don't spam shove. Our first back, ideally, we want to be able to afford a TM app. <laughs> so your first back tends to be somewhat uh, delayed. Whew, three successful ganks on Nunu. Everywhere he's gone, everything he touches turns to a successful gank. Riven's kind of just running away from where I am. I think I'm on a ward. She's literally just running away from where I'm currently at. Yeah, it was warded over here. Interesting. I'll go bot lane here in a second. Auto W reset. I can't tell if it's warded anymore. I'll go here. I need to know if Zerath wards that bush, though. Looks like it's not warded anymore. I'll ward right here. We'll reset. There's nothing to touch at the moment unless they push out. They're just not making it very gankable. I can almost afford team out. That's when I'll back. Oh, this is so free. We go for Zerath. He's all alone. He's got no sums. Auto W, auto Q auto, Ash kind of kill steals me there a little bit, but I can afford team at at least. Noon is in the general area. Okay, we can take that control word. Noon is not there. Noon is on his Krugs. Finally got my team at. We can play the game a lot more consistently now. And full clear into ganks. Jack's huge level one item power spike. It's usually when you start fighting for dragons on him. Their bot lane flash, I think I timestamped it, 820. 
bot 820. We'll come before then with my ghost. An easy way to remember if you don't want to do time steps in chat five minutes past the point where they flashed is, for example, if you take ghost and you use ghost and they flash, you know that as long as you come back as your ghost is coming up, the flash will still be on cooldown since ghost is a minute and a half shorter cooldown to where it's an easy way to remember it. So I know my ghost is about to come up. I can go bot gank and neither one of them will have flash. And Zerath doesn't have cosmic either, meaning his ghost is on a longer cooldown than mine by more than 10 seconds. I have cosmic insight. He doesn't have inspiration tree. He has sorcery precision. So his ghost should be up now, but he won't have flash. Auto W reset. Diana's doing pretty good into the Riven matchup, surprisingly. She even ran area, which is kind of weird to see. Do we have a, some way to break that? We need a way to break this ward so I can come around and then we need them to break this. Break that into these two bushes. Yeah. Sick. That was such a good scrying orb or whatever. Huh. Yeah, let's just control word that. We'll head on in. Nice. Alright, I'm gonna go stun him. Auto W. Nice. That's so good. We should honestly take Dragon off that. Oh, Nunu's here. Auto W. Q. Uh, we did not get the kill on Nunu. <laughs> that was unfortunate. His Q goes through our ER. He only blocks auto attacks. Diana's going to die for that. I don't think she even gets anything. She blew everything and got nothing. The only good side is Lucian hasn't backed yet, so we might actually be able to do Dragon off of it. If their mid lane doesn't... Yeah, yeah, we actually can't. Never mind. Riven's full health. <laughs> that went pretty poorly, all things considered. Lucian being alive, he was able to follow up. He had level 6 as well. I think they're going to end up trying to do Dragon, and we're going to have to stall it out. He got awarded right there. I have my passive stacks up, so I'm just trying to utilize that here. Teamat isn't activatable now. It's not an on hit, but Titanic is an on hit activatable, so it's a true auto reset. Interacts pretty well with our passive and our passive. Late level six for us is what it is. I've been ganking a lot. Is this area awarded? Oh, noon is right here. Nice. I don't think we can really do it though. They're just a lot stronger than we are right now. Lucian's a full item. Unbelievable. I have my free boots, that's good. Hmm, all right. This Riven's being a pass auto W reset. I think I can suicide here. They have no clue where I went. At least I don't think they know. Guess we'll see here in a second. I don't think they know. I think he's on this. He's on it right now. I don't think Aatrox wants to mess with it though. I don't blame him. Messing with the Nunu is kind of annoying. It's hard to get. He's right there. He's, he's like on it right now. Oh, never mind. He's not. He's just right there. He's tanky though. He's going Bomby Cinder with Dark Harvest Nunu setup. That is bizarre because he's worried about getting bursted. I'll go back bot side when my ghost is up. We'll grab red buff real quick. You never really do end up getting oracles on Jax. It does hurt your gank somewhat. I guess you can swap off of it, but as a whole, having the warding totem is pretty nice. Just go over walls with it, kind of like a Rengar does. Riven's going heavy magic resist. Our team has a triple AD though. That's going to hurt her on drag fight. She has hex drinker. Lucian being a full item, super obnoxious. 
New new top side. I'll run mid right now. Riven's gonna feel safe since our top laner is dead and his jungler's nearby. Q auto WE. Auto team at auto. She really wants to trade damage with me there. Yeah, Nunu's on bugs right now. There's nothing I can do about it though. I took his raptors. His bot lane, they're about to come right here because they know I'm in the area. Oh, they're dumb. They're not. <laughs> that was a really, really bad move on their part. It's a kill. It's a kill setup. We go for Lucian. Auto W. Get him to stun. Auto Q. Got him smited. He flashed. That is such a good fight for us. Massive misplay by their bot lane. They had all the pressure topside. They had the bugs guaranteed. All their bot lane had to do was chill, lay low. And they can coast off their bug advantage and top lane advantage. I don't have smite. So ideally, luck smites this. Nice. <laughs> Thank God Nunu didn't have flash or didn't want to flash in. That would have really sucked. So their bot lane, they actually have a lot. I don't think they used any of their ultimates. Nunu's mid. I can't stop this. Yeah, so their bot lane could kill my bot lane right now for sure. You, my bot lane just needs a reset. They're taking forever. They're going to end up losing plates now. Ash ends up staying. My goodness. As long as we CC Lucian, we're fine. I have to save my E until Lucian starts to auto me because his autos are doing all the damage. It's not like I'm saving my E to block Zerath autos. Zerath's kind of roaming around. I don't think this is warded. All right, we got Zerath Ghost. That's huge. He panicked. That plant is so important. You can cover both bushes with it. I'm going to reset. I'm sitting on Titanic. Nunu's probably in this area. If he's not top right now or mid, it's a good chance he's just kind of... Hold on. What am I getting? Oh, that's tough. I feel like I have to go for Merc Treads or Lucids. When in doubt, you can always push Lucids. Top and mid should swap. Riven, MR. Like, Aatrox should just go mid at this point. Riven invested heavily into magic resist. New new ganks Diana for free. And Diana definitely feels turbo camped right now. She's probably warded. Yeah, top and mid are really struggling right now. I have a CS advantage on Nunu. We have Dragon advantage on Nunu. They definitely have kill advantage though and turret gold advantage. I think they know that I'm here. I gotta go this way. Yeah, they know I'm here. Nice. That's huge. They're low now. They kind of have to reset. I'll come up through these bushes. Nunu's on his way and their mid laner's missing though, so their mid laner might end up coming bot. Their, their top laner's also mid, so... I don't think they saw me there, maybe. Oh, that's big. Got it. Nice. We can dive Lucian here. We just have to make sure Nunu's not here, so we kind of have to come from behind some of us. We can't, like, overcommit and have Nunu come flying in. Yep, Nunu's here. I don't know if their mid laner's here. I got my E on, so he can't R. Auto W reset. I saved my E a little deeper into his snare. All right, this is free. Their mid laner, if someone can hit this guy. We need Lux to come around here. I'll walk him down, or range person should be the first one to hit him. All right, we just let it go. He flashed, Zerath r It's actually pretty decent, all things considered. All right, we need to leave though. Nunu's gonna be here with speed up. This is bad. We gotta get out. That's bad. I was doing the wrong ping there. I wasn't trying to do that one. Auto W Titanic. 
Because the first place Nunu's gonna go from base is whatever enemy champion's up the furthest, and we're up the furthest, and he's gonna have base speed up on his most fed lane. It's a no-brainer for him to go to straight boss. So we have to back off from there. Dragging up in one minute. I'll be extremely gold fed. Hopefully Fiora hits the split. We win drag fight. We really do. My E's gonna hard counter Riven and Fiora. If they try to focus me, most of Riven Fiora's damage is just auto damage. So I should win that. Oh, what is this rat doing? What a rat player. Stepping all the way up. I think it's worded though. I just kind of need to leave. Mm, she took a turret shot. Q auto stun. We win drag fight. Fiora dead. We win drag fight. We got to make our way around and get the scuttle crab. Set it up. She got a huge back. Super, super fed. Fiora's not going to be there most likely unless she has TP. We're going for the Q-Max second. I would need to cool down and stick on these guys. They have double range backline. If I can't get to Lucian or Zerath. If I could get tricky. Ash and Luck should somewhat be able to match their damage output at least. Nice. Walk in with Q. Auto W. Stun him out of that. Okay, we just... Ooh, nice. Q auto Titanic reset. Alright, we just start dragging. We need to pull it out. Just pull it out. I'll come in through the back. Lucian's about to walk into me and get deep dicked. Auto W smite Titanic. Q auto R. Yeah, I'm going to kill both these guys. As long as my bot lane doesn't die. That's huge. Oh, Riven's just straight up 1v5ing. What? What? Why? How is Riven 1v5ing? That is very, very frustrating. Got with the stun, auto W. Riven just went in, butchered three people. Got him down with my ghost. We have to pull this out. We can still do this if Nunu's dead, but we have to pull it out far. Auto Titanic. I've got the scuttle speed up to retreat. We need people over here. I don't actually have smite. Get him with a Q auto W E. Walk him down with the stun. Down he goes. Riven's in a tough spot here. She's going to get turbo focused. All right. Yeah, we take dragon. Fiora is here, but I have my E. Auto W. I just hold it on. Auto Q. Nice. See, they're getting turbo countered by the Jax pick with the E. Plus, of course, I have my teammates behind me, but like they're fed Fiora, fed Riven, even fed Lucian. The moment their auto attack is halfway going off, I just press E and I turn into a Ramus. They're essentially not hurting me. They're getting bulldozed. Glad we played around bot lane. Playing around with Fiora, Aatrox is going to be too tricky. Oh, it's not the 20 minute mark, so my whole team didn't get blue there. I probably should just reset it and held on to the blue for a minute or so. That way the whole team can have it, because it's 20 minute mark where the whole team gets it. The red buff's up in 20. We need someone to slow down mid wave. Bot and top aren't a priority right now. There's nothing really that close to there. I'll go Sundered Sky. Sundered Sky third is nasty for team fights. People keep mispredicting how much health you have. The main people we still have to deal with, at least for me, is the Lucian Zerath. I will play frontline if need be, but a lot of the times I'm able to find a wiggle play on Zerath Lucian. Especially if Zerath misses stun, then they get annihilated. I guess I could hit the split. I guess that's what Aatrox wants me to do. Oh, I gotta go match Riven now. Or my bot lane's gotta go there and I'll cover mid since they're closer. That's bad. We can't have people just dying on splits near turrets. It's really, really bad. It puts our team under a lot of pressure then to be incredibly reactive. And try to cover the the bleeding. Got the stun, auto R. She's fast. 
I, we can't chase this, unfortunately. Very unfortunately. There's a lot of stuff going on. They're kind of near the turret, but not near enough. Why would we surrender? We're up do dragon advantage here. We need to take a take away this minion wave though. I think Zerath just ghosted. Kill Nunu. He's right. Whoa! It shot him 10 miles away. What the heck? <laughs> when he came out of it. I'm still on ghost for a little bit. He flashed. I'm gonna die. He goes in for free. This Diana. Oh, what is she doing? She had to be on full cooldowns as Lucian walks me down with six auto attacks and a dash forward. Holy crap. Lucian got 800 gold from killing me there. Lucian's flash is 26 minutes. I would have had him there too. Good kiting by the Ash. Riven seems turbo broken. She didn't play that well at all. And still almost won the interaction when Ash and her are both two full items and she Riven took turret shots. It's wild. I think bruises are a whole are incredibly overtuned right now just because tanks as a whole are wildly unsatisfying to play. What generally counters bruisers is a big old tank holding them still while everyone kills them, but people aren't really playing tanks at the moment. Other than tank supports, because that's not even because tanks are OP, that's because support items is stupid strong right now on the tank enhancement for percent based damage reduction. I think I was playing that on Tristana. It gives you it's like 40 or 30% damage reduction for a couple of seconds. It's outrageous. So we're locked in for drag fights still. My ghost will be up around that time-ish. Auto WE. Jump out. Fiora's trying to get to me here. Auto WE. Get the stun. That was a nasty fight. Somehow we won it. I had to sacrifice the Lux. Auto W, auto E, auto Titanic reset. Nice, nice, nice. Who's alive? Riven, Zurath. As long as my ease up, Riven can't really kill me. I know I said that, but she still killed me without even using R on me. We should take drag here. They're not going to be alive in time. We can rush drag as Diana runs away to grab minion wave. Got Sundered Sky. Riven's damage is insane. Technically, any ability that can do area of effect damage, even Evelyn E or a Riven Q, should do 25% less damage while I am on my E. So she was able to kill me there. Granted, I didn't have a lot of health, but through my armor resistance, through my 25% damage <laughs> resistance on my E, she just killed me with her Q. She couldn't auto me. She didn't even use R on me. It was just Qs. And Ignite. That's what it was. Her Qs, her abilities basically did 260 and her Ignite did 200. So the Ignite itself did disproportionately like more than any given ability she used on me there. My ghost is up. We just keep playing Draxel win con. We get Draxel win the game easy peasy. We need a ward here. This one's about to break. Lux is taking blue. Aatrox is taking Krugs. And that's why you don't try to just take a buff if you don't have smite because you can just leash it for the enemies. Now the enemy's got five blue buffs since it's past 20 minute mark and we get zero blue buffs. I would like to split but we can't. Our team is incapable of winning a fight because just kind of how the comps are set up. It's also easy to fight with the Ash. I got stunned hard there. Auto R. I'm still on Ghost. Fjord flashed. 
Nunu should be in trouble here. Auto W. Q auto. Riven's beating my head in. I think I was getting hit by the turret too, yeah. The turret did all the damage, 1900. Or damage than what Nunu and Riven did combined. It's worth it though, dying there. Baron feels risky. That should have just been a turret or two, I think. Zerath can steal this, and I'm not going to be there for a long time. Taking pretty much all physical damage. Death's Dance wouldn't be bad. Guardian Angel wouldn't be bad. I'd rather have Sterics or Shojin, though. More straightforward damage output. Tenacity would be useful as well. Sterics gives 20%. Shojin, Asterix, or Cleaver? Probably just Shojin. This drag is up in 2 minute 20. My ghost will be up for that. It's interesting. When drag comes up every 5 minutes, guess what? Uh, Flash is up every 5 minutes. Ghost is up every uh, 3 and a half minutes. So, realistically, every dragon fight is baked in for everyone to have their summoners up. Ash R hits. Oh, that was right on him. I've taken new new raptor so many times this game. I'm out of there. Their whole team's over here. I only did that because I had a plant to jump to. It was a good escape route. Without the plant, that was an absolute suicide mission. We need heal cut. We need heal cut on somebody now. For eight, ooh, nice. For 800 gold, heal cut will guaranteed win a drag fight because the new new healing, uh, Lucian a bit of healing, Riven a bit of healing, Fiora healing. We need heal cut on probably the Lux. Oblivion Orbit, 100 gold. It's going to determine the fight. If you're ever going to a big ob objective fight and you have a small amount of gold, as long as you have 800, it makes a ridiculous difference in the next fight. Because there's no other item that can match the value an Oblivion Orb or an Executioner gives for 800 gold in a team fight. If you, as long as you can AoE apply it, like one Lux E, heal cutting their whole team for 40% is ridiculous for 800 gold. Alright, that's free drag. We'll play to Fiora. She needs to sit on the split. The problem with their comp is anyone they, who they technically sit on a true split push, since we have Jax, we can go up and match it. The only person who can match a Jax late game is Nasus. That's the only person Jax can't do. I need vision right, right there so I can hop over. If I can hop over, they can't ward. Nice. He actually got that over the wall. We got to fight it. Got with the stun. I'm dead. I got chewed up by Nunu. Diana gets Lucian. Botling kites out Riven and Fiora's not here to... That's bad. <laughs> Riven's killing everybody. Can't believe we lost that fight. It's making me think I should just go for Sterix for the fat shield it gives. Or death something. I could even go for Frozen Heart here and it would be stupid strong. They, they really shouldn't win that fight 3v5 or 4v5 like that. Especially when we're already at a gold advantage, dragon advantage. Then winning that's just kind of gross. If I could have played it differently, I wouldn't have really prioed Nuna at all. And I would have stayed a little closer to my team. Aatrox should go top. Nunu's, he's going to try to set up a big R in a bush or something. 
Oh, Zerath's fucked. He can use this done. Yeah, Zerath was trying to slow everybody down. Got him out of the ball. Auto W. Auto Titanic R. I was going to say Q, but I can no longer reach him with autos. Yep, that's drag. Should really pull it out. They know that if we get the soul, they're screwed. They nerfed dra individual dragons, but they buffed the soul itself. Meaning, if you have three dragons and they have zero, it doesn't matter that much. But once you have the soul itself, it's kind of like threefold. Like nine dragons versus zero. Yeah, Zerath was really trying to slow us down. They don't have the front line for him to stand behind though. So every time he steps up, if we can come from a weird angle like that, he had to flash because he was scared I was just going to land my jump stun. Nice. Auto eat. I can jump out here to Lux if need be. I can go back in. Wait, what's going on over here? She's, she's just running. She's wasting our time. Let's go to their blue and then maybe do their red. Nice. All right, we can just keep going then. We can't finish though. Or can we? Hmm. They're kind of doing weird stuff on the map. Like Riven's splitting while we're in a position where we could potentially end it. I think they're coming to check Baron, to be honest. Auto W. Got off an R. There's the stun. I don't think I can. Ooh, Q auto W. He's smited. Got Titanic. I need some backup. I need something to jump to. Oh, shoot. <laughs> it, was their whole, it was everybody. And now all we need the team to do is just slow down minion waves a little bit without getting picked. They gotta be careful of the new snowball, though. It's like just a Lux E out. They're doing the Baron. Ash isn't over there. She's farming my camps. Finally got my frozen heart. It's kind of a weird item to have since they got the new new Zerath and Fiora true damage, but I need something against the Riven. Her AoE damage abilities that I can't really stop. They're doing too much damage against us. Doing the same thing where we're trying to take buffs without smite. Nunu could have potentially stolen that. Plus, I didn't get red buff because of that. That wasn't alive. Laners are obsessed with buffs. They're in a big hurry to get them. Maybe just five man stack with Draxel and fight it out. I have Ghost. Should, it should be pretty much that simple. Diana wants to back. What is she backing for? I need something to jump to. Jeez, Riven is kind of really broken there. I, I was taking damage from everything though. If I eat the new new snowball, I'm just dead. It's really dangerous to play on their half of the map at this stage in the game because new new snowballs out of base at a million miles an hour. Ash is dead here. That sucks. It might be game. Could be. Everyone died. They have barren minions as well, so their minions aren't going to die too easy. I 
It, it, that is something I needed to consider more this game is playing past the halfway mark of the map in the late game. Nunu's swinging in with these fat snowballs. I need to have something to jump to to get away from that if I'm going to be past the halfway mark. Fiora's on the split. Aatrox is trying to chase. We have potential Elder Angle. Noon is kind of bunched up over here while they're all trying to reset on our left. What is this? Hmm, this is strange. Yeah, they messed up. They're throwing really hard before drag fights, but then they're still kind of winning fights. Uh, yeah, Aatrox needs the base. He has TP. Lux can slow down waves too. Got him with Smite. Oh, this is bad. I'm scared Riven's gonna wipe my team. She's heavily slowed. Hey, Lucian. So Riven's kind of what she's doing. Zerath and Lucian are here. Auto W, there's the stun. QR, auto W. Frozen Heart's pulling a lot of weight there. I think Lucian was, we should be able to just end, right? No, they have minions in our base. I think we take drag here. Yeah, we can't end. 4v2 with how far we have to push up the waves. We don't have minions to end with. I need a ward or something to jump over to here. I'm about to run into Nunu. It's kind of awkward. Auto W E. Got stun. Auto Titanic. Q Auto W. This bitch is strong. Holy crap! She almost won that solo. <laughs> oh my goodness! Magic resist Fiora over here in the solo fight. The main difference is she has plated. I have Merc treads. Still. I have Draxol and Elder, and she's coming pretty close there. We can't end here. Riven's on the flank. Her shield is big. She's got her self shield plus the eclipse shield that goes off. This is a bad fight over here. Two of them are dead. I guess we can take this. Ash isn't over here, so it's 4v3. We don't have minions, so we can't stay. We just don't have the minions. Take their red... Baron Red into Baron bait. We can force them to all come Baron here. Fight him with five red buffs is so freaking broken. Wow, they want this red. They're stacking on it hard. Well, it looked like they were. It looked like they were going to four-man push for this. All right, that's five reds. Stack it up. I would like to back and get full build, but call field should be good enough here. I mean, we have the drag soul and we're on elder for now as well. I'm going to take this real quick. All right, we got that cleared. We need to take Baron now because Fiora's in our base. So we, this fight has to end quickly. We need, we might have to turn on this Nunu. I don't like this fight. We need a base. We need a base. Because if, if that, that gets strung out and Zerath keeps stopping recalls or something, that could get bad. Oh, she's here. Mm, she does have magic resist, though. She almost gets that when she's fighting 1v4. My goodness. That champion's nuts. 
Just goes to show how underwhelming Ocean Drag Soul is. Healing over time, 300 health over 4 seconds really isn't that much. It's less than 100 health per second. When someone's hitting you for like 900 damage, it's only so good. Especially if they have heal cut. I should have bought an elixir. That was my mistake. Now we got Baron buff, Drag Soul. We don't have Elder anymore. Lock him down for the stun. I kind of jumped in without an E there. That was a dicey proposition. Down goes Riven. That's GG's. Jack's late game is pretty nuts. Well played by both teams. No one really gave up there. Let's look at damage dealt, damage taken, and runes. Looking at damage dealt to enemy champions, we did have the most in the game. Diana at second, and then everyone else in the game for the most part was pretty much tied. With Riven being higher up on her team. For damage taken, we were number three in the game. And for self-mitigated, we were number one on our team, not number one in the game. Riven self-mitigated, guys, 91,000, nearly 100k. That's typically something you'd see from a tank. To my opinion, just goes to show how stupid bruiser items are. She's self-mitigating a fudge load. I'd say the most 60% of that self-mitigation is through Eclipse on its own, not even through anything else that she built. Way too much self-mitigation, in my opinion. And then for runes, high value. On all, Jack's jungle, it can be a bit of a slow startup. Once he's level 3, he's good. But his clears still aren't the best. But once you have Tiamat, he starts to take off. If you enjoyed this Jack's jungle video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is King Sticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.